but this is a song called Old English Garden, and it's a song about the English, famous English garden in, in the Alzheimer Hermitage, the Hermitage, uh, near Donach, uh, near the city, Swiss city of Basel. And I used to work there as a publicist, and it's also the place that I've uh, written books about and given uh, slideshows. And I met a beautiful Swiss girl there, and it's a kind of a description of this whole English garden with its fountains and its wells and sad maiden cells. And it's also the place where, according to the Swiss writer Werner Groep, the Grail Castle of Wolfgang von Eschenbach is located. And this song is also part of a project to uh, bring this into the public spotlight with all that it contains and signifies. Okay, Old English Garden. <laughs> Love makes me 
show you a few slides about the work of the Wilhelm Institute for Grail Research. Uh, based on my own slides that I've taken in the last 10-20 uh, years, and the slides are based on the work of a Swiss anthroposophist and Grail researcher named Werner Groy, and his work again is based on the work of the Austrian philosopher and clairvoyant Rudolf Steiner who founded the anthroposophy, which he called also the science of the grail. Okay, these dias, um, uh, as I said, I made uh, some years ago. I'm speaking uh, in English, although, as you know, the, the Wolf of an Eschenbach uh, was written in Middle High German, and the whole work by Groeb is in, in German. But the reason I'm speaking in English now, is not only because there's a lot of interest in the grail in the English-speaking world, especially in England, but also because I'm translating the work of uh, Groy into, into English. By Wolfgang von Eschenbach is in Middle High German. It's been translated in, of course, uh, High German, Modern German, and also English and French. But the work by Werner Groy hasn't been translated, but I'm in the process of translating his work, and I've made a sort of pre-publication, Wolfgang von Eschenbach and the Reality of the Grail by Werner Groy. Uh, and I've also done a third volume by his, which is, hasn't been appeared in, uh, in German, Werner Groy, from Grail Christianity uh, to Rudolf Steiner's Anthroposophy. Now, there's a theories about the Grail, but my uh, slides are only going to give you an impression of this work by Werner Groy. I cannot go into all details because it would take much too long, but this is a kind of a, uh, a, an attempt to show that there's really some substantial evidence that there is an uh, evidence for the uh, theory of, of Werner Groeb that the Grail story is not a fairy tale or some kind of uh, fantasy, but an actual event which did happen in the 9th century, not in the 12th century as most people seem to think, and that the Grail geography, in other words, the places where uh, Wolfram von Eschenbach located his Grail story, is in uh, Middle Europe, with the central uh, spot, the central location of the Grail, Castle uh, Mont Salvage in Terre de Salvage, which, based on indications by Rudolf Steiner, is to be found south of Basel in a region called Bierzek, where you have the villages of Dornach, uh, Münchenstein, and Arlesheim. And I think all further particulars I will print. And this is a print from the so called Menes uh, collection showing the knight Wolfram von Eschenbach and his page with his horse, and you see there five times his weapon, or his uh, emblem, his, uh, his kind of a secret uh, uh, meaning to it. Many people think of Abbas, what does this mean, these two P's opposite uh, each other? And this is actually a representation, uh, it, it's the, the Egyptian letter, or uh, Hebrew letter, uh, Diresh, and means two opposite divine principles of good and evil, uh, which have to be kept in balance. 